Yeah, it is 189 Hot Tomato Scooter, joined tonight by Matthew Breen. Welcome. Scooter, how's it going, bro? I'm all right. You're all the way from uh, Liverpool in the UK. Yes, I'm all the way from there. I can't wait to sort of talk a little bit about your music. You've got something original. You've got your guitar here with us, but um, there's a viral campaign. Can you quickly tell everyone about this? Yeah, sure. I was in Manchester Airport on the way out, and there was an open piano at this cafe, and I was like, okay, yeah, I'm going to play some songs, and then all of a sudden felt this thing in me back, and I was like, oh, that's no no one turned around. It's a dude with a gun, you know, like... As you do, yeah. Oh, it was a policeman. Like, don't get too worried about that. It was a policeman. That's what you're hoping for at the airport, a policeman with a gun in your back. Yeah, pretty much. Um, So, yeah, played Oasis. And it got a couple of million hits. Well, that's the thing. So it's not every day you get a policeman actually strumming his gun like a guitar. Oh, like, no, that doesn't happen. Yeah. No, yeah. Not much. <laughs> so your background in music, okay, from Liverpool, where yeah. did you first pick up the uh, the guitar and the singing? Where did this all come from? Well, my mum was a singer and, you know, she played drums in the 90s in a band and she's very musical. Mm-hmm. And then uh, I just kind of picked up the guitar one day. Dad taught me my first four chords and he's still playing those four chords 12 yeah, years yeah, later. Sure. Yeah, yeah, You know, so it's, it's one of those. It's great. Stuck in the 60s or something, is it? Yeah. Yeah, pretty yeah. much. <laughs> so uh, you've also, um, you know, on top of this viral campaign, that you got like over a million views. That's got to be yeah. a pretty weird sort of sensation for a musician that's been hoping for that kind of uh, exposure. Yeah, it's like, well, I never thought Oasis would get me famous. Yeah. You know, you, you, don't, <laughs> you, you don't expect Oasis to, to have that effect on people. I'm just waiting for Noel Gallagher to insult me and then my life's complete then, you know. That's the moment. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> pretty yeah. much, yeah. Well, I remember hearing him say he's got about six friends on Facebook and he's trying to get rid of two of them. So yeah. you know, he's a lovely guy, old Noel. Um, yeah. Tell us a little bit about uh, this. You were George Harrison in yeah. like a Beatles theatrical show, which was yeah. huge, called Lennon. Yeah, it was called Lennon and, you know, I had to play George Harrison, but nailed the audition. That was just a pure fluke getting in. Like, I wasn't expecting it because I was surrounded by Liverpool's elite acting yep. sort of people. They're all thespians, you know. All sure, yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. The, but, the, the real deal, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But the thing is, like, I can... The, the, I think the thing that... I, that got me in. I was, pl- I was, um, I can do impressions of the Beatles and, uh, you right. know, charm straight off the bat. They love it. It's great. So, um, Beatles was a, you know, a, a staple of your musical diet growing up? Well, you know, dad brought me up on doo wop and mum was a Durrani in the 80s. So I just, I, w- I found the Beatles myself. Yeah. I was, it was just watching some, uh, vi- YouTube had just come out. I was 10. I right. Think, yeah. And I uh, just stumbled across this, and this what's video. What's that done for musicians now? It's incredible, oh, really. It's isn't crazy, it? isn't it? But, um, you know, I've seen this, seen this video and uh, She Loves You by The Beatles was on there and I was like, wow, this is great. I love this. And then started finding more things. I remember like vividly dancing around my mum's bedroom <laughs> to She Loves You. Hopefully not in her high heel. Um, no. <laughs> so talk to me about your style of music because we're yeah, sure. kind of, you know, like, uh, you know, that's how you kind of got into it. And Beatles, obviously, I think all of us were uh, inspired by those guys. Incredible songwriters. And, oh, yeah. Um, for yourself, uh, wh- where do you take all your bits of... Of, you know, uh, inspiration from like in terms of artists, like mm. a, a, a bit from everywhere, really. You know, I, I'm really into indie pop and electro indie and things like that. You know, in terms of lyrics, I, I like things that are it's kind of like a metaphor, do you know what I mean? Like, mm. the, I, I wrote a song and it was like, um, my affection to Rets comes in the form of roses, <laughs> 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 sort of like, line. here's a rose, yeah, you know yeah, what yeah. I mean. <laughs> Sort of, but yeah, you know, so I don't know, just a bit of everything, the wombats, it's all there. Now, the song you're going to play for us and perform here yeah. live on uh, Uncovered at Hot Tomato is uh, self-written. Yeah. It's uh, obviously um, one that we're about to hear more on our radios around Australia. Yeah, here's hoping, eh? And yeah. where's this sort of come from or what, is there a story behind the song? Yeah, well, I was I was having relationship troubles when I was 16, and uh, as you do, as a teenager. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, like... I was in her back garden and I was writing this song and she thought I was off with other people and that wasn't the case and so I just thought I'm not guilty here and I was like I'm going to write that 10 minutes later I had the song and is it that quick because I'm not a musician so you know some, I hear from a lot of different yeah. musos that it, it comes in a, in a flurry yeah like I mean sometimes like when you get a good one it, it comes really quickly like and then other times it just doesn't happen you know you'll be sitting there for ages and you'll be like I want to write something I want to write something and you'll have loads of musical ideas and you won't get the words or you'll have loads of words but you'll never get the music and it's one of those you just sometimes it just comes out of the blue and you'll get a line in your head and a melody and you'll go back and sit down and 20 minutes half an hour later you've got a song so. the magic 
magic happens. Yes, that's it. Now, Matt, um, tell me a little bit about our hospitality in Australia. We're looking after you. You're off to Tamworth. You're going to go hit yeah, the Tamworth yeah. Music Fest. Yeah, that's that's right. cool. Yeah, yeah I've, not, I've never been, so, you know, it's going to be one of those eye-opening things, country and blues, isn't it? So, yeah, yeah, big time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So a bit of basking and, you know, get amongst, yeah, yeah. Um, I guess it's kind of for us anyway in Australia, our kind of like our Nashville, like, yeah. kind of. Yeah, yeah. Well, the Gimpy's the same up there, isn't yeah, the it? So Gimpy and Tamworth, yeah. It's, yeah, yeah. It's, it all happens, man. It's going to be so, exciting, yeah. a, a good oh, journey. I can't help it, man. Yeah, Has anyone it. taken you for a surf? No. I've well, tried. I, well, I've tried, but I've failed. When this finishes, we're going for a wave. <laughs> well, let's do it, man. Do you want to grab the guitar? Yeah, sure. Uh, Matthew Breen here, of course, uh, all the way from Liverpool. You might be able to even catch him as part of the Tamworth Music Festival, uh, busking on the streets. This is an original hit, uh, which you can probably find on uh, iTunes. iTunes, yeah, and Facebook. Uh, Facebook. Matthew what do we Breen look official. for? Oh, yeah, so Facebook page is Matthew Breen Official. Easy. And, yeah, and Give iTunes. Give it a like. That's it. Please like it. Yeah. <laughs> That would help. <laughs> now, this is not guilty, so yes. I, I'm going to just sit back and be amazed. Okay, here we Take go. it away. It's Matthew Breen on Uncovered at 1829 Hot Tomato. So I'm picking up the pieces, trying to get them fixed. But when I think I'm done, it seems there's a few I've missed. Before the jury give the verdict, will you just hear me out? When I say I'm sure, I never really had a doubt. So let the courtroom be adjourned, and your objections overturned. Cause the fire you've been burning has just burned out. So I hear what I'm saying, and I read my words clear. You know you're all I'm wanting, so I have no fear. Yeah, and I lie and I'm crying. Can you please or do I have to get down on my knees? You know all that means to me, so can you see that I'm not guilty? Yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I can only admit that I did you wrong. Go oh, about you all I'm wanting all along. So let your fire turn to ashes Or most ashes they turn to dust Or do you have to leave, baby? Well, if you must And so let the courtroom be adjourned And your objections overturned Cause the fire you've been burning is just burnt out So I hear what I'm saying And I read my words clear You know you're all I'm wanting So I have no fear And I lie and I'm crying I'm begging you please to get down on my knees You're all that means to me So can you see That I'm not guilty yeah. So Hear what I'm saying And read my words clear You know you're all I'm wanting So I have no fear yeah, I'm not lying I'm crying I'm begging you please Do I have to get down on my knees but I'm not guilty. Oh, mate, that was <laughs> awesome. Matthew Breen. Jeez, thank you. You've got a stellar voice and, uh, wow, you've got an energy about yourself. Very charismatic. I think the ladies are going to fall in love with you uh, while you're down under. Uh, how long are you here in Oz for? Oh, I'm here for four months. So my working visa runs out in four months and then I'm going to probably get another one. All right, ladies, <laughs> you've got about four months. Four so months. You're better down. Um, so my address is... Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, Matthew Breen, you can find him on Facebook, iTunes, Twitter, I'm sure, everywhere, uh, the official page. Uh, so uh, what's the journey for you? Are you uh, on an album writing sort of mission? Or? Yeah, well, I've, I've, I've written the album. The album's recorded. It's all recorded in Radcliffe up, oh, in, wow. up in Brisbane. It's all Brisbane. It's made in Brisbane. Excellent. Yeah, cool, yeah, it's yeah. It's great. Um, Queensland, oh! That's it, you know, all the state of origin stuff. Man, you know it, hey, hey. Do you guys get, do you watch that over in uh, the UK? <laughs> yeah, you've got to find it, like, I mean, but once you find it, you've got it. Like, I was walking down uh, High Street in Liverpool with the Maroons jersey on, and some guy comes Picked up to the me. Right colour, by the way. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah, yeah. yeah, Some guy comes over to me and he's like, oh, dude, dude, did you watch State of Origin? It was last year. Did you watch State of Origin, dude? Pretty good Aussie terrible. accent, too. Uh, it's, no, it's terrible, man. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, he was like, have you seen State of Origin this year? And I was like, yeah, you know, I, was, I actually went to Sydney a couple of days days after Queensland lost oh, right. in the jersey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, oh, too funny. Oh, well, um, look, before you go, I just, any chance you could 
spill another one for us? Oh, sure. Give us, a, mean, give us another taste yeah, of something. I'm going to have to tune down for this Yeah, yeah, one. no worries. Uh, so this was a guitar you were just saying, uh, being on, you know, in another country, you've just picked up a little uh, sort of work hammer oh, yeah, while it. you're out here. Um, yeah, have you got a fair collection of guitars? Back home, yeah, I've got a, I've got a couple. I've got a Gretsch, Gibson, uh, Tack of Mine. Out here, I've got Tribute from JB Hi-Fi. <laughs> <laughs> Little plug there for JB. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Thanks, guys. Yep, Cheers, we do what JB. we can. Yeah, yeah. So, oh, yeah. um, what's the next one you're going to do? What's this single? I uh, want it's in tune. Uh, it's about this girl that I met last time I was here in, uh, you know, the winter, and uh, which is I, pretty much summer for you. Yeah, pretty much. It was yeah. summer for me. Yeah. I, I was. I had to stop and think there for a second. Yeah. Was it summer? But um, so yeah, I was just. Uh, I was like. It, 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 really into this girl, you know, turned up at house drunk about three in the morning a couple of times and it was like, hey, we should get it together. <laughs> and, um, was that you or her? That, that was, her. was me. <laughs> oh, that was you! <laughs> and, uh, oh, I've been guilty for that a couple of times. I'm not going to Or lie. are you not guilty? Yeah. Uh-huh. Hey, uh, I like this guy. He's so, quick, he's quick. <laughs> yeah, so uh, this song I wrote, I got back to England and, you know, I was really into her, really. And I wrote about five songs about her and this is one of them. Great. And it's called North Star. North Star, Matthew Breen. Okay. Here at 189 on tomorrow. Everything was going alright. Everything was going just fine. Then I had to head back home. I couldn't know that you stay mine. And I, I need to know. Do you call me home? Cause I do, yes, it's you. And now I'm gone. So very far. My southern cross Cause I'm your North Star I'll be away Yes, I'll be far Be my southern cross Cause I'm your North Star It's listening to Tusk I could smell your perfume musk Then we head back to your place Cause the cops call you no red or And I, I need to hear You say I love you before I go home On my own And now I'm gone So very far I'll be my southern cross Cause I'm your North Star And you've got my heart I can't cope with you being free Is there something wrong with me? Don't think there'll ever be a bad mistake Could you hold me close to you? Could you say no, you no regret? These feelings for you are far from fate Cause I'm your North Star I'll be away So very far Be my something cross Cause I'm your North Star And you've got my heart Oh man, that's awesome, hey Thank you Thanks for coming Cheers, in and mate. joining us here at 1029 Hot Tomato. You, um, you know, there's something about the way you write music too that makes me want to get up off my chair and just be drinking at a pub <laughs> with, you know, a whole bunch of other yeah. people. There's that real atmosphere in your music. We spoke just briefly before that about an album. Is, yeah. Has it got a name? Uh, it's called Not Guilty. And it's coming out... No idea. I think not, January, New okay. Year. Yep, yep. New so year? keep following... March, maybe. ...on Facebook and, uh, and, and of course, with us here, and we'll, we'll, we'll keep you across the story no as well. Cheers, but Scooter. Matthew Breen as part of Uncovered at Hot Tomato. Thank you. Thank you very much. Cheers.